Timothy Bradley. Ah, uh, Timothy Bradley. Yeah, he's um. Timothy. Oh, that's a, that's an awful phone. And if it, they you definitely got robbed. Did you pay forty dollars for that phone? It's yeah. cross cut a screen. Did you plug? Yeah, how is it? It's not pocket. Oh. Yeah, you found it. It's, it's there. All right. Found it. Thank you. Don't lose your glasses. <laughs> yes. I'm going to rock your glasses in this video. Yeah. There you go. All right. Well, uh, of course, this weekend, <laughs> uh, fight happening. Tim Bradley, Manny Pacquiao. Um, you know, we just had White Coda not too long ago, so this is the end. <laughs> I like this. No, I like this fight. I like this fight. It's... Uh, I, I say like this, you know, as far as like the uh, predictions go, I can't, I really can't give a prediction. I want to get behind. <laughs> I'm going to take these off. <laughs> I, I, I'm rocking this out to the uh, to the pool. I want to leave that right there. <laughs> they are, they are. <laughs> I'm telling you, they're sweet. Um, you see? Oh, John. Try them on. You got to put them on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, yes. You gotta come uh, out your next out video, your next music video. No, when he comes out of the ring in September, you gotta rock him. <laughs> get him, get him, hot. get him a nice towel. Find enough, one blood. Get him a robe, <laughs> a, a diamond robe. Uh, you know, Pacquiao. You know, a sensational angle fighter, fast, and you got Bradley, who's you know, undefeated. Tough, and you know we watch 24/7. It's, it's actually been half decent 24 24/7 as far as Bradley concerned. You know, you want to get behind the guy, and I mean that's what I want to do. And, and Jeff, I mean you're you're behind him. Yeah. You know, well, <laughs> Me so much. Get 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 fleece. Uh, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> A video's got to be made, but Jeff, you know you're 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 the expert in this situation. You watch a lot of fights. You've been in a lot of fights. You know you see that tape. What do, I mean, what do you <coughs> think as far as Bradley's chances? I know you you've obviously watched him fight. You've obviously watched Pacquiao. I mean, what what do you think uh, this fight's going to turn out to be? I mean, I I, I lean toward Pacquiao by decision. I mean, everybody's jumping on on Bradley bandwagon because he's he's selling it. Yeah. He's selling, you know, he's doing a great job of selling it, you know, and um, to be honest, he's, he's doing all this talk, but at the same time, basically, it seems like to me, he's trying to be a carbon copy of Floyd on a 24-7, you know, the way he, his antics and things like that, because, you know, it's one of those situations where Tim Bradley's never been on 24-7, so he's making the most of it, you know, and uh, don't get me wrong, I mean, he's a very, very solid fighter, and, um, but... His Achilles heel is that he can't punch. Yeah. You know, and, and being that, with that being said, you know, um, you know, it is a business. And so, if he can't finish the job, chances are he might not win. I mean, yeah, I agree. <clears throat> I agree. You think you put that, like, guess I, I said, I guess it goes to a decision in a close fight here in Vegas. The money that's on the line, it's it's obviously going to go to uh, Manny Pacquiao. And, and I mean, that's, that's unfortunate for Timothy Brown. You mentioned, like, this. Uh, Pacquiao's punch output is a little bit more, I think, than Bradley's his speed. He's obviously faster, and you know, I'm not going to say he hits harder, but with his uh, uh, his victories over some faded fighters, he did, you know, did show a little bit of power in some of them uh, the punches he put out. And I agree with you there, uh, unless you know you see a Timothy Bradley um, we've never seen before who automatically comes up with some power. But you know, we talked in another video about a guy who who peaks too soon. You know, you have fighters you, you monitor so they don't peak too soon. Timothy Bradley is, you know, everybody's saying he's like one of the hardest workers in the game and, and he's in the gym and out of the gym. Do you think that could be a case for him for I mean, his I lack of power maybe? I mean, it's possible because of the fact that because he's in a fight of this magnitude, you know, he might feel that he needs to do something extra. And realistically, he probably should just do exactly what he's been doing. You know, I, I'm not saying he may can change in terms of some of the things he does, you know, to try to build power or something like that, but you can only build so much power, you know. But, 
you know, it's a situation in which, you know, um, it's his time to shine, you know, I mean, the, the, all the lights are on him, so he's making the most of it, you know, I mean, you seeing a guy who's actually usually quiet and, you know, kind of to himself, you know, and I mean, now all of a sudden, the camera's on him, now he's blossomed, you know, he's showing the side of you that you that I don't blame you know, him. Let him do it. Um, I mean, no, no, he's no, gonna I mean, get another, regardless, he's no, gonna get another big money fight no, after no, this. I, I, I mean, don't get me wrong, I mean, I, I agree with that in a sense, too, you know, but at the same time, it, it just, you know, that to me, it's, it's a little over, it's a little over the top for me, you know, for a guy that's, that's not his character, and then all of a sudden now, you know, he, the, all the cameras are on him, and it's like, wait a second, I gotta make the most of this because, Maybe this won't happen again, you know. But don't get me wrong. I mean, I, I think that, like I said, at the end of the day, Tim Bradley is a very solid fighter, and he has a great, and he has a great shot at, you know, uh, winning the fight as well. <laughs> now, Celestine, <laughs> what? <the hell>? <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, the camera. <laughs> <now, dude. laughs> so, so now, Celestine, you're known as someone that's really shy around the camera. Um, really? <laughs> No. The back out. Oh my yeah. God. Dick. <laughs> 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 so Celestino, so, you know, he Jeff had said that he thinks Bradley's putting on a little bit of a show for for the cameras, trying to sell a fight. Um, how much have we see when we see you? How much of that is a show that you're putting on to sell a fight? And how much of that is actually you? You know, you're very. You talk a lot. You you know you. Is it is it more for the cameras to try to get attention and sell the fight, or is that more your real personality? Uh, real personality. So so you're I, not. I, yeah, I know. I, I don't talk. You know, for camera. I don't. I don't like that talk. No shit. You know, personal. Personal is more better. I talk to you. Personal. It's it's, it's good for me. I want to see your eyes. Huh? <laughs> you fight, hmm? you know. So you know you had, of course, previously you had a, a lot of uh, a lot of words for Juan Ma. So I mean, is that you know? And, and you always hear you know all the build up and and you know most of the fights is kind of all all fake, you know. And then and then we you know you had a lot of words for Juan Ma, even Gamboa. And now you and Gamboa kind of you under the same roof a little bit. So even there with those two, it's 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 really everything you said you said was was from the heart, not you know not just trying to build up a fight. Uh, maybe it's difficult for, for the promoter, you know, for the promoter, the, the fighters. Uh, I I know I I know in the, in the in the promotion. So maybe it is the the problem for the for no game of fighting Walmart or Gamboa uh, last night. Hey, Celestina, you remember, you know, whether it's a weigh-in or press conference, you're face-to-face -face with your opponent. Do you remember, like, the nastiest thing you said to your opponent? No. Uh, I yeah, drove... Like, yeah, I'm I remember said, you up and after I'm going to fuck your no, mother. Some no, shit. I yeah. said, yeah, yeah, Wama, yeah, put, yeah, put on yeah, your big boy pants <laughs> and take and off the dress. And the face-to-face is, uh, I go in a fight of a uh, stimulator. He talk bullshit, so he's broke my... my, my as he said to me, you skinny boy, I have a beard in your eyes, or, you know. I said, oh yeah, I skinny motherfucker. Tomorrow <laughs> 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 night, I draw your fucking face. <laughs> and you did. Yeah, yeah. So you get face to face. So did you have any words for him after after uh, you knocked him out? No, I don't talk to him after that. So do you take things like that personal when they say stuff like that? Do you think it's when the fight's over, is it kind of just done? It's cool. Me, it's really? cool. It's business. Okay. Thank you very much. Go well, you home. Give me home. your bill. Yeah, give me I bill. I have my house. <laughs> <laughs> you and me, good friend. So now this Pacquiao fight coming up, what do you think Bradley needs to do to, to, be, to be Pacquiao? So opportunity that Bradley is sure for me, you know? A little, little show. For I see the fight Bradley for the Cuban guy, um, the veteran Cuban. Who's a uh, Casamayor. Casamayor, in, see, yeah, he's the fighting best. So I see a Bradley, you know, see, 
know, Casa Mayor, you know, it's, it's down. Yeah, yeah, it's finished. Yeah, it finished the careers of Casa Mayor. But he go in uh, Casa Mayor, uh, resistant of uh, decision of rally. So for me, he said, wow, I thought rally knock him on two, three rounds for no, no, no pass. So he's this little uh, sure. So who do you think who wins in your uh, in your Pacquiao, opinion? Pacquiao. Knockout? Mm, maybe not. Maybe not for Bradley move, you know. Bradley is a good fighter. So he's in shape, I see you know in a TV for that preferred. Uh for his he um for he no win. He no win. I don't see no win Bradley. Who can beat Pacquiao? Uh, Floyd. Anybody else? Mm -hmm. Floyd. Can 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 can, can it, would you Mark. fight? Would you fight him at maybe one forty? Pacquiao. Yeah. For that money. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I want to fight Pacquiao. I want to fight. I don't care. You go and you spar. You, you know, I've seen you in the gym. You spar with guys 50 pounds heavier than you. No. And you beat, you beat them up. Yeah, I don't care if I need to uh, take a control for that weight. Mm -hmm. You know, I take a control. I feel good. Ooh. <laughs> well, so you got Pacquiao. You got you got Pacquiao. I mean, I'm gonna. I got a probably a safe bet, Pacquiao. Jody, you're too you're too busy asking too many questions and shit. Nobody uh, ever gets to know what. I'm gonna say Bradley because everyone predicts Pacquiao, and that way no one remembers that. So when I'm right, well, you're right. You might be. You now, if I'm right, then I can say, look, I said it right on right on camera. And yeah, every, all these so-called experts are picking, picking Bradley. There's Everybody. There's a lot of people picking Bradley right now. I mean, but they're all hopping on him. You know, it's like yeah, it's a bandwagon. It's, you know, it's, it's hard to judge where Pacquiao is because he looks, to me, look, he did look so good against Marquez. But then again, Marquez is the fighter who has his number. Mm -hmm. You know, so then it's hard to judge where he is against everybody else. Well, I mean, the thing is that the fight with Marquez is always going to look bad. So, right. and Marquez is probably a better fighter than, than Bradley. Right. I mean, Bradley's a well-conditioned athlete. You know, but I mean, skill wise, not the, not the greatest fighter when it comes to skills. Right. You know, I mean, you know, I mean, he's um, I mean, he's just a hard, a very, very hard worker. Everybody sees that, you know, but like I said, I mean, to be honest, his skills are limited to me. So, what do you think of uh, Layla McCarter in the ring when you spar with her? Who? You sparred yesterday with Layla McCarter. Oh, <laughs> oh Layla, La uh, Layla is. He's great, great boxing. So, so I play Lila. So I um, practice for Lila for my defense move. You know, so Lila is great, great yeah. fighter. All right. Anything else? Yeah, there's, there's tons of to, to talk about. Well, that's the next video. We can say because you know the second we turn this camera off, that's when the, the real good shit <laughs> yeah, comes out. <laughs> oh well, you want to do what you can do. Hey, you get this, guys. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> hey, Celestino, real quick for the camera for Mikey Garcia. One, one more, one more final thing. Tell, tell Mikey Garcia, go eat an ass or something. Uh, no. <laughs> what do you have to say for Mikey so Garcia? It's this? okay for me. I want to fight. <laughs> uh, so I don't know. So. Uh, I not procure the Mikey Garcia. I procure that training the Mikey Garcia. He have uh, the credential, the back credential in a in a boxing so by shot.